Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 29, and this is war number nine. And we're going up against an alliance called Inhumans Chaos. All right, so let's go ahead and spectate. And let's see what they have in store for us on defense. Let's go on over here. I take path uh, three in sections one and two. So I don't have anyone to fight on that first node, but I do have to fight a Dr. Doom. And thanks to him appearing so often in the arena, uh, I shouldn't have too much of a problem uh, fighting him. Uh, Nick Fury can handle him. Uh, so can Claire. And then we've got another Silver Surfer. Nick Fury should be able to handle that fight. Um, hmm. Yeah, Nick Fury should be able to handle that fight without too much difficulty. Long as something crazy doesn't happen. Uh, then we've got Magneto here. Uh, preferably, I would like to see someone with Human Torch take out this Magneto. Um, I don't really... If I bring Human Torch, I can do it. But my normal team doesn't really include someone that can handle this fight very well. So we'll see... Someone else can take it. Uh, we've got our favorite Colossus on this node. Claire can handle that. And we've got um, Guillotine uh, 2099. She's annoying, but she shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, Claire should be able to handle that. Ooh, and then we've got Super Scroll. Um, Warlock can handle that fight. He should be able to handle that fight. Um, yeah, I think Warlock should be able to handle that fight. Uh, let's see, Mini Boss Island. Ooh, we've got Iron Man Infinity War. Uh, Claire can do it. Um, if I brought in, uh, Corvus, he could do that fight for sure. Uh, he could also do the next fight with, uh, Guardian. Uh, that Mojo, I will leave alone. I hate fighting him. Uh, Human Torch. Uh, would be great for that fight. And then down here, we've got um, Bishop, someone that's uh, Incinerate Immune, or maybe Stark Spidey, or Tech Champion might be good there. Killmonger, I really hate fighting him on that node, but he's common on that node for a reason. Um, we'll see if anybody needs help on that node and then we have the updated miles morales who on that node shouldn't be too much of a problem uh just somebody that can handle evade all right so let's see now i will not bring in corvus that is a trap fighting core uh that colossus for the charge i did that once and i did win but it was a near thing. So won't do that again. And there's not any charges to pick up here. So Corvus is out. I'm going in with my standard team of Nick Fury, Warlock, and Claire. All right, so we'll be right back with the fighting. All right, so you can see I'm going in, as I mentioned, uh, with my standard team. I've got Warlock, my rank three newly awakened and sigged up warlock and we're gonna bring him in now you're gonna see why i like to use nick fury in alliance war all right 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 off the bat this first fight against doom okay but nick fury he's like a staple uh for a reason okay that extra life i like it <laughs> and I need it. Uh, the game right now is not in a good state. And especially in war, when your controls don't work or there's a lag or any sort of delay, it can spell disaster. You know, it can cost you, uh, you know, one of your champions. Just, just one small delay and your champion is gone. All right, so 
I've fought Doom many times now, okay? I can dex both his specials without any difficulty. Most of you have seen me do it. See, I, I'm able to dex his special one, no problem. Special two, for some reason, didn't dex, okay? Now, I've dexed his special two left and right. Now, if that had been one of my other champions, they'd be gone right now. But all that happened with Nick Fury is I lost the life model decoy. That is why I like to use Nick Fury in war. Just that one, you know, hit, and the fight would have been over with another champion. All right? So next up, we've got Silver Surfer. Now, Nick Fury, the real Nick Fury, is out. So that means my damage is a lot higher. Now, if you watched one of my previous wars, I got wrecked by a silver surfer in section two. And some people were suggesting that it was that high ground tactic. And yes, that's what it was. Because I had awakened my warlock, every time I did a power drain, I did a degen. And because of that, I would take damage because of the degen, okay? So if my Warlock had not been awakened, we would have been able to do that fight easily. All right, so as you can see here, we're not having to worry about any of that extra damage and boom, 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 Silver Surfer is down. The real Nick Fury puts out a lot of damage. And I know even when I have the life model decoy destroyed, I have another fight in him. And if I wanna use him again, and I wanna be safe, I can pop a invulnerability boost or, or something like that and keep going. All right, so now we've got our favorite on that node, Colossus. And of course, I don't use anybody but Claire. She is perfect for that node and that particular champion. Um, she'll rip away his armors, uh, so he'll have no armor ups. And while I'm hitting him and he has an armor up, he'll be trying to put a bleed on me, but she's bleed immune. She starts out bleed immune. So yeah, she is just ideal for this fight. As you'll see here, look at that. Boom, you see that immune? Because he tried to put a, a bleed. And as long as he doesn't have any armor ups, doesn't matter. Um, now I switched over very quickly into the Hellfire. And at this point, if he gets another armor up, there is a chance that I can get a bleed on me. And it's not a powerful bleed. So it's not too big of a deal. Okay, see, look at that right there. Now I got a bleed on him, but he's down. So it's a risk if I'm not in Curse of Blood, but it's a risk that I'll take because it's not a powerful bleed. And usually they're about to die, you know, by the time I get that on, uh, on me, if I do. It's a small chance, but it seems like it happens anytime uh, I do that. So y'all know how that is. Now we've got an annoying fight. Guillotine 2099 is very annoying to fight, okay? Um, that Digicloak especially is what you have to play around, okay? So you can see here, I'm thinking, who do I want to use? You know, I, I can use either Warlock or Black Widow, Clairvoyant. I chose Warlock because he hasn't had a lot of... Uh, Playtime. So the first thing you want to do is hit her with a heavy attack that puts the digi cloak on cooldown, as you see there. Now I can just go ahead and fight. And as long as she, uh, or as long as, well, yeah, as long as she is infected like that, when I get her down low, she won't be able to heal. And I tried to do a, a sneaky uh, heavy attack, um, but didn't get it. And that happened. But didn't hurt too much. Now it's on cooldown again. I pushed her to a special two, but it didn't matter. Down she went. 
I was actually surprised at how much damage I did to her there. When I fired that special two off, I was thinking, okay, it's going to get her, you know, almost down. And I was like, whoa, her health disappeared quick. I was like, okay, all right. Um, uh, but anyway, that is going to do it for my participation. As you see, they cleared all the minis and they took out the boss by the time I got there. All right, so we'll be back and we will find out how this war ended. And we're back and unfortunately we lost this war. However, we did not get all three bosses down. I don't know why, uh, but at our level, there's not really an excuse for not getting all the bosses down. Losing, it happens. But we should always, even if we don't fully explore, we should always get all bosses down. So I don't know what happened here. We normally do get all of our bosses down. So maybe, uh, you know, some extenuating circumstances happened. I don't know. Uh, obviously, it wasn't my BG, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.